Hello there. Today we're going to be covering this window behind me uh, with some aluminum storm panels. Our first step is going to be to take our track. Um, we have two tracks here, a, an H header top track and an F track bottom track. Our first step is going to be to cut it out of the plastic. Okay, with all windows, we always work from the top down unless you have a projected sill. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to find the center point on the window, and then we're going to find our center point on our track. Okay, our window is 37 inches wide, so our center point is 18 and a half. Go ahead and make a mark like that. Our track for this opening is 39 inches. Um, center point on that would be 19 and a half. We'll go ahead and make a mark right at the top. We're going to find our center point now on the window, which is 18 and a half. And our track is three and three quarters inches tall. So I'm going to go up the window now from my center point, three and three quarter inches, which is right at the top of the molding in this case and we're going to make another mark. Okay, we're going to align uh, the center line on our track with the center line on our window. We'll go ahead and check it for level. And then we're going to go ahead and mark out the pre-drilled holes in your track that we made here at our We're going to go ahead now and drill out uh, the four top holes Now we're going to go ahead and realign our track and drive in uh, our four top screws. Next step is going to be to cut the uh, storm panels out of the plastic. We're going to go ahead and just set them off to the side. And we're going to take one panel now and dry fit it up. Okay, we're going to take track. a panel now and we're going to fit it up into the track. We're going to make a little mark here at the bottom of the keyhole. Okay, from the bottom of our mark we can either now go down or up one and one quarter inch we're working on a wood wall today so we're going to go up because we want to make sure we hit something structural uh, the F track can be placed upside down or right side up it doesn't make a difference so we're going to take a measurement from our mark inch and a quarter up and I've made a, a secondary mark here on my windowsill Okay, we're going to find the center point at the bottom of the window now. 18 and a half inches, our window was 37 wide. And we're going to find the center point of our F track, which is 19 and a half. Make a little mark at the okay, center. Okay, we're going to align the two center points uh, with the track and the window sill. And we're going to line it up uh, with, our, with our mark that we made over here. Uh, inch and a quarter, uh, or inch and a quarter mark over here. We'll go ahead and check for level. That looks good. And we'll go ahead and uh, mark our holes and go ahead now and drill them all out.
Okay, we're coming down to the end here. We're now just going to put our F-Track bolts, uh, slide them in the track. They slide in from the side. And that way you can take them out at the end of the season. They're stainless steel. They won't rust, so you can leave them in if you'd like to take them out. You take them out at the end of the season. One other point I'd like to make. Um, we require these panels to be bolted at every other hole. Um, so you've only been supplied enough screws and washered wing nuts to bolt the panels at every other hole, not in that center hole. That's made in the uh, that hole is made in the center uh, for half panels. So if you if your window uh, predicated that we would provide you with a half panel to give you enough coverage, then you would put uh, one bolt there at the six inch. Okay, we're now going to start putting our panels in place. Okay, I haven't put in all the screws yet. I'm going to go back through and finish up these last couple of screws, but that gives you an idea of how the panels go up, uh, one, one overlapping the next, uh, washer wing nutting everything down as you go. Okay, that's it. We're all done. We've put an F-Track bolt in every other, every other hole. Uh, we're all tight and secure. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 888-474-3555. I hope you've enjoyed the video.